All right, Paul, clearly based on what we've seen, atmospheres are playing a big part, not just in, in the planet, but actually driving the temperature. So what places in our solar system have atmospheres? Okay, well, here's all the planets, and it's pretty clear which ones have atmospheres. I mean, Jupiter and Saturn are all atmosphere. Yep. Um, Uranus and Neptune have very thick atmospheres over some sort of hot ice core. Yep. So lots of atmospheres. Um, then as you get smaller, atmospheres get less and less. So the clear pat pattern is big things have atmospheres, small things less so. Okay, so the bigger you are, the more likely you are to have an atmosphere and so yeah. on. So, I mean, look at Jupiter and it's beautiful, pretty. Beautiful, that's right. <laughs> and Saturn, likewise, lots of atmosphere. Uh, Uranus and Neptune, again, all we see is atmosphere. And now, we've actually seen some of these storms on Neptune before, right? Just with Jupiter. Yes, yeah, so they have storms that are blue on blue, so they're a little, little less visually dramatic than on Jupiter. But nonetheless, we're seeing... Um, storms there. Yep. Then we get to the rocky planets, um, and Earth has an atmosphere, but now it's like the thickness of a postage stamp on a soccer ball. Yeah, that's the thing I think we always forget, is that yes, we always say we have a great atmosphere, but it is a really tiny fraction of our planet compared to Jupiter or even mm. Neptune. Yeah, I mean, the Earth is 6,400 kilometres in radius, and by the time you're 10 kilometres above that, you can't breathe the atmosphere. Yep. So that's 10 kilometres over 6,000 kilometres. It's a very small fraction. Mm. Um, Venus has rather more atmosphere, but still it's only a few tens of kilometres on a 6,000 kilometre core, so yep. it's still maybe two postage stamps on a soccer ball. Um, then when you get to smaller things like Mars, Mars does have a carbon dioxide atmosphere, but, you know, but it's tiny, right? It's tiny. It's enough to mean the sky isn't black on the surface of Mars, but it's you know, tiny in comparison. And then almost everything else like Mercury, there's no atmosphere. The I moon. mean, technically there are a few atoms of gas around, um, maybe blown off by the solar wind or something. So people do study the atmospheres of these things, but it's really a very, very, very hard vacuum by any practical standard. And just like if you were to go 100 kilometers above the Earth, there still technically is a tiny atmosphere, but essentially nothing to breathe or live by. Now, yeah. asteroids, asteroids? No, nothing. nothing. Um, and most of the moons of the outer planets, nah, nothing. Okay. Our moon, nothing. Yep. So the vast majority of things in our solar system there is you know, nothing. So it generally obeys the rule, the bigger you are, the more atmosphere you have. Yes. And what I've done here is I've done a plot showing the surface pressure okay. of the atmosphere for the rocky things. Yeah. I didn't know how to do that for things like Jupiter and Saturn because they don't have a surface. Yeah, but we also kind of know they have big atmospheres, They've right? Got yeah. So this is the, the things which have a surface that we can observe yep. and what the pressure is against the mass. So this is where we're plotting the mass, this is where we're plotting the atmospheric pressure. And what you can see is that the bigger mass ones, Venus and Earth, have higher yep. atmospheric pressure. And then you get Mars and Titan, which we're going to come back to. Yeah. And then basically these are the only six rocky objects in our solar system that have atmospheres at all. Everything else is way off the bottom of this. So Pluto graph. and the Moon are tiny? Pluto. Pluto, Pluto and Triton yep. have a bit of atmosphere. The moon on the scale would be way down, down there. on the floor. Yep. So same with Mercury, right? Same with Mercury, same with all the asteroids, same with most of the moons of... So Pluto and Triton scrape by Titan and Mars. They've got, they got a million times less atmosphere than the Earth, but they've still got a million times more, more than the moon Mercury. and Mercury. So they're off the diagram. Okay. So this is what we need to explain. Okay.